from the prime mistake in Canada. You know, he, he's always telling people what we want and what we think. He acts like he represents all Canadians. And most Canadians, of course, did not vote for him. I think like 60 some odd percent didn't vote for him. So got to get over yourself, but he's always doing that. And now he's scolding pro-lifers as not being in line with society. Whose society is that? <laughs> that kind of would be his society, duh. You know, and now the liberal uh, MPs, members of parliament, are not allowed to go out and, and uh, uh, fight for another writing, and no one is allowed to fight for their writing. In other words, you're nominated just because I said you can be this little dictator. This ain't nice. This is pretty bad. I mean, they now have the right to carry the ruling party's banner into the next election, and nobody has the right within their party to come and, and you know, contest that or, or try to get that job. I mean, these guys stay in there forever. That's just wrong. There should be term limits. You shouldn't have these same old tired folk hanging around for year after year, term after term. You need to have fresh blood, even on the liberal side. Why not? You know, uh, <laughs> who loves carbon taxes? How about nobody, right? But, but there are many exemptions. The country is based on, on, on a whole bunch of bad stuff and, and like uh, different colors. So they get priority over white. Nobody likes white people anymore. It's kind of amazing to me. The First Nations, which of course is Indians, are given grant monies from the carbon levy revenues up to 80%. So in other words, they really don't pay carbon taxes, but everybody else does. Don't y'all wish you were born an Indian? You'd get stuff for free. I know blonde Indians that, uh, you know, they get stuff for free too. This is bad. I mean, but why do you have all of this stuff going on? You can't say we have a law to penalize all of the citizens, except you, and not you. Oh boy, they just keep on walking among us and being themselves. Not very nice. Justin Trudeau, you know what, the prime mistake, he's disengaged. He's not part of the real world. I mean, he, he just doesn't even manage. What he does is, is he goes to meetings often, but they're not business meetings. He goes to gay pride parades. What are you accomplishing there? Are you doing some world order thing? Are you doing something within the country? How are you helping the country when you do stuff like that all the time? Not just to zero in on the gay stuff, but, but on anything that he does, he seems to not be engaged to, to the well-being of the country. Like, who, who's doing the work? Oh. The people in short pants, all those little guys and girls in his office, they're unelected. They're not very bright, <laughs> but as sharp as a marble. And, and they're running the country. Boy, oh boy. In uh, 2017, it was estimated that the taxes were 42.5% from every little household. This is the average Canadian. We're talking $35,000. This year, of course, is going to be substantially more than that because of all the new taxes that the PM has put in. Prime mistake again. But 35 grand. Stop and think about that for a minute. Wow, you want to move to the United States of America? Where that crazy guy is? You know, the one that everybody talks badly about? President Trump? 15% taxes now, your 35 would probably be closer to 10, maybe five. At $35,000 that comes out of your pocket every year if you're an ordinary guy. If you make $60,000 a year, 35 grand. Say that a whole bunch of times and maybe it'll come through to all of us. It's bad. I'm plotting the political transformation of Canada in Canada. Are you with me? We got to do something. We need an overhaul. We need a change. You'll come back here tomorrow. We're going to bore for you from the right. See ya.